There's a lot of people that lost everything. Hurricane Idalia and a record high storm surge ripped through the quaint island of Cedar Key, Florida last week, leaving behind devastation in its path. It's amazing how angry that sea can get. Heather Greenwood manages the Cedar Key bed and breakfast. She's been through hurricanes before, but nothing like this. This is the first time I've actually been through one that created this much devastation real close to home. While Cedar Key is Greenwood's part-time residence during the winters, she returns to her home state, right here in Montana. You don't even think about the water being that scary when you're from somewhere like Montana. As Greenwood showed, there is still plenty of destruction they, left to be cleaned. Levels lost their entire uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, laundry rooms, etc. You can see piles of what was once part of people's homes and businesses now littering the streets. From the buildings. And you can see we're not very far away from the water. The, the water was actually up higher than what I'm standing now. Um, it went up to this tree line here. While Greenwood um, certainly never has to deal with a hurricane while living in the Treasure State, the communities are similar. Yeah, being from Eureka, little tiny town, no stoplights, no chain restaurants, Cedar Key is a lot like that. Very close knit, very hard working community, and um, they're all going to be back up and running in no time. Greenwood says she's grateful their island experienced no deaths and the bed and breakfast will soon be up and running again to house those coming to help with the cleanup. So much of the island is already rebuilding. Haley Monaco, MTN News.